9.12 now on this Saturday morning. I missed you. I know. I mean, it's been so long since oh you came Oh, my gosh. Wow. I was like, whoa. I woke up this morning. I was like, wait, what eternity. time is it? It has been an eternity. <laughs> We've, I haven't seen you like two weekends. Yeah, that is crazy. That is a long, that's a long long time for us not to see each other. But yeah, we've been doing a lot of catching up. Don't worry. In the yo, commercial trust, breaks, trust. commercial breaks, it's been chaos in here. I've been telling him everything <laughs> about the great weather that I had in Martha's Vineyard, too. And oh, yeah. it literally, I think I just brought it back. You're welcome. Yeah, I mean, this past <laughs> week really has been just gorgeous. I mean, you can't really ask for better in August. You know, not too humid, not too hot. So, you know, we're going to kind of repeat that once again today. We're going to be looking at temperatures getting back into the lower 80s, maybe a few middle 80s in the downtown areas in the lower valley, some middle and upper 70s for the higher elevations and relatively low humidity as well. The good news is today, too, is going to feature a good amount of sunshine, maybe with a few clouds mixed in, but we are going to be on tap for a nice bright day. We're going to be looking at temperatures falling back down through the 70s as we head towards the evening and then get down into the 60s. We'll maintain our mostly clear skies as well, and then through the overnight hours, we're going to be looking at temperatures falling back down into the 50s. So not a bad idea to keep those windows open and let those ACs take a break. We're going to have a nice night on tap. For tomorrow morning, we're going to wake up pretty similar to this morning with another cool start out there. Temperatures starting off kind of in the 50s to near 60. And then we're going to see some clouds working in, so we'll call it a blend of sun and clouds for your Sunday. But looking out from our Agawam SkyCam right now, we've got tons of blue sky. We're looking at a temperature right now of 65 degrees. We've got a calm breeze, a dew point right now of 58 with that calm breeze at Connecticut River right now looking like a sheet of glass. Temperatures right now on the eastern part of the state already climbing up into the lower and middle 70s. We're at 70 in Worcester, 68 right now in Hartford, 71 right now in New Haven, 65 in Springfield, and 60 is your temperature in Pittsfield. Dew points right now are also in the middle and upper 50s, close to 60, so maybe feeling a touch muggy, especially as you head down towards the Connecticut and Rhode Island shorelines, but right here in Western Mass, not too bad. This is where the dew points are going to hang out for the day today and tomorrow, and really maybe even into Monday and Tuesday. It might feel just a touch muggier as we head into Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, but then our humidity does start to really ramp up as we head into Wednesday. We have a cold front that's going to come through late on Wednesday, so before that front comes through, that's when our dew points tend to soar up, so we're going to be seeing those dew points getting into the middle and upper 60s, maybe even close to 70. That's when we start to feel that oppressive humidity. When we're in the 50s range and in the 40s range, that's when we're in that pleasant range. That's where we have been for the last couple days. But we are going to be expecting to see an increase in humidity by Wednesday. But then behind the front, once it comes through, we're going to see those dew points crash back down into the 40s. So we're going to be back to that refreshing feel to close out the week. Satellite and radar right now scanning dry of any wet weather. Just a few clouds earlier this morning giving way to mostly sunny skies. And widening our view out a little bit more. We can't really see a whole lot out there because our pattern right now is being dominated by high pressure. And high pressure promotes sinking air, and that is what stabilizes the atmosphere. So we've got a beautiful stretch of weather for your day today with mostly sunny skies. Tomorrow, same thing. Maybe the chance for an isolated hit or miss shower as we head into Sunday afternoon. However, I would say most, if not everybody, stays dry. But we can't run that risk for maybe an isolated shower. But then as we head into Monday morning, we're going to stay dry as well, with mostly sunny skies. And then we have an upper level low that's going to come down and give us the chance maybe for a few scattered showers, maybe a rumble of thunder Monday afternoon, and then we dry things out once again for Tuesday. Our next chance for any sustainable or substantial weather, I should say, is not going to really come until we head into the day on Wednesday as a cold front comes through. Looking like Wednesday night going into Thursday, we could be looking at some showers, maybe some downpours or a rumble of thunder. And then after that, our cold front comes through. We turn much drier, less humid, and a little bit cooler too with temperatures near 80 as we head into Thursday and Friday of next week.